Hey guys, what's going on? I know you're thinking, what what is this intro? What is occurring here? But I wanted to try something that I saw on Instagram and you can see it's kind of a success, kind of a fail, but you know what? We're making it do what it do. So if you want to see how this semi-successful, semi-fail look happened, stay tuned <laughs> and here we go. All right, guys, so we are going to get started. I already primed my face and put my powder on, so you guys have seen that a thousand times. I am going to jump in and prime my lids with the Jawbreaker color from Jeffree Star. Something you guys have seen me do one million times. I need a mirror. Always forget that part that I need a mirror when I do this. All right, so we're going to try something different. And... The intro to this video will be the either success or the fail of this this look so we are going to try our best to make this look like something all right so lids are prime you know this blue looks really different under different lights like it doesn't usually look this bright. All right, so I'm just gonna buff it out just a smidge. All right, just a tiny bit. And this look was inspired by one of my favorite drag queens from season 11 of Drag Race, Plastique Tiara. Um, however, she used the Anastasia Beverly Hills liners, I think, to do her her look. I'm I for some reason I can't find these liners. Like they they're not on the Ulta website, and I'm not paying Anastasia. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Jawbreaker palette, and let's see what we have here, folks. I haven't used this palette in a while. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should have did a pink primer, but I'm going to make it work. So I'm going to go in with the color Soap. That's that blue right here. I'm going to go in with that and cover... All right, now I don't have any Q-tips, which would have helped for this, but you know what? I may redo this again with another color scheme, but like I said, this is first time for everything. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. camo concealer. I keep forgetting now when I place my phone on this new tripod that the camera's on this side I'll, I'll, I'll get it together y'all all right so I'm gonna take a smaller brush and pick up some product and hope my brush my applicator doesn't fall and we are going to All right, so what was that? Was that part of my brush net? Wow. All right, so I'm just gonna. All right, so I'm gonna go over this white with a pink 
from Jawbreaker. We're going to go in with the color right here called Bubblegum, which is a really soft pink. So I have a question for y'all. Why? Why y'all let Ludacris do Nelly the way he did him on that versus bat? Man, it it was tragic. It I I didn't even know how to really feel about it. I didn't watch it that night because Nelly's Wi-Fi was really upsetting me. So I watched the the Hot 97 recap. And Hot 97's recap kills me all the time because it's a read. It is a complete and utter read. It's like, they they were just flaming Nelly left and right. And it was, it was disappointing because a lot of the songs they played, like that Nelly played, if you didn't listen to to Nelly growing up you didn't know a lot of those those songs um I felt Nelly's order of how he played things weren't it wasn't what it should have been he played a lot of stuff too late when Luda was up like four songs on him <laughs> like he's he opened with can we leave here and if you, I think that was off of the Sweat album. If you didn't buy or stream that two-disc two album, you didn't know this song. So I don't know what possessed Nelly to open with that, but he did. And it took him a hot minute to really catch up to Luda. But what I also learned from that battle... Luda had a lot of bangers. Like everything, I think they played from Lu that that Ludacris played, with the exception of I think his they shooting verse. I didn't know that, and I didn't know his verse from All I Do Is Win. I think every other song Ludacris played, I knew. Like, and I had a friend at she. When I tell you in love with Ludacris when we were in high school, oh my God. Like, you couldn't tell her nothing about Ludacris. Like, she was obsessed and in love with Christopher Bridges. But, as I stated on Facebook, that was y'all fault that y'all let Nelly even get hyped for this battle because... Ludacris had a whole guest starring role on Law and Order SVU. He he was or he was bound to win. <laughs> like y'all y'all was just it was just disappointing. It it was just very very disappointing. All right, so I'm just trying to clean up a little bit with this. All right, so. I think for the powder eyeshadow, I'm done for that portion. I'm going to speed through my foundation. I think, because I'm not sure how my foundation is going to react, I'm going to go and use the Pretty Fresh from ColourPop, and then we'll go from there, folks. Okay, so this is where this look is going to get really different and really, really, really weird. So if you guys saw in one of my last few videos, I caved in and I brought the ColourPop mascaras, the colored ones, and... <sighs> womp womp as a mascara it didn't get the job done but what I'm going to attempt 
is to use it to color my eyebrows since I haven't considered bleaching my eyebrows and I haven't shaved them off. So let's see if this works. Okay, so I feel all that did was just cake my eyebrows down. All right, so again, this is not going to look like much without the special effects. So please bear with me in this. So next, I'm going to use the liquid lip from Jeffree Star in the color Prom Night. I have never used this. It's a really bright pink. So let's give it a whirl. Okay. This pink is actually really pretty. Under different circumstances, this lip would have probably been a whole vibe and a whole look. But I really, I'm really, and I put a lighter pink in the middle of it. This, this lip, zoom in for you guys on this. This lip is everything. All right. So I have a paint that I'm going to attempt to do something with. I, I don't know if I'm going to line my eyes with it, line my lips, do something to my brows with it, but. We're just going to try some stuff here, folks, and I'm going to speed through it again because at this point it is going to be a trial and error, and I'll be back with the finished <laughs> results. Stick around. All right, guys, so I know you can't see me, but you can see the neon. You can see this bright, bright neon that's going on here. Um, so the eyeshadows were a complete and utter flop. They were a fail, but the paint actually looks pretty pretty decent and my hair is actually showing up way better than I thought it would and my outfit is actually showing up which in itself is a win so I know for the next look I will have to actually do all paint so we're just gonna have to do that with some different colors and I gotta figure out this light situation because I brought these light bulbs on Amazon and they it's not getting the job done. I may need to put a lamp or something on my desk, but other than that, I'm not mad at it. It's gonna look crazy. I'm gonna take a picture with the lights on and with the lights off. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it in this hit or miss neon attempt so now that we know what works and what doesn't i shall return thank you guys i'll catch you in the next one